Hi you guys, how are you today? So, I was feeling a little overwhelmed, um, unhappy. Have you ever felt like you were just not all that everybody wants you to be? That you just can't do or be everything that people around you want? Um, I feel like that sometimes, and I think we all do. And then I realize that sometimes I do that to others. I, um, they are not all I want them to be. They don't do all that I want them to do or think they should do. And I realized that, you know, Jesus had this. When he came and started his ministry, his disciples, the people around him who supported him, they thought that he was going to take Israel over. There was going to be a revolution and they were going to end up on top materially in this world. They were going to be the leaders and he was going to be the king and they were going to be his right hand men and women. And that's not what happened. He died a criminal's death on the cross. They were persecuted. They were tortured. So many terrible things happened to them. They were martyred. He wasn't what they wanted him to be, but he was what he came to be. And we're told in Romans that we all have gifts. And it says in Romans 12, 6 through 8, if you preach, just preach God's message, nothing else. If you help, just help, don't take over. If you teach, stick to your teaching. If you give encouraging guidance, be careful that you don't get bossy. If you're put in charge, don't manipulate. If you're called to give aid to people in distress, keep your eyes open and be quick to respond. If you work with the disadvantaged, don't let yourself get irritated with them or depressed by them. Keep a smile on your face. So we all have jobs that we're given to do, and the jobs we're given to do may not be the jobs someone else thinks we need to do. However, we do need to do the jobs we are given. So don't let yourself feel beat up if you are not meeting others' expectations if you are doing what God has asked you to do and you're doing it with your whole heart and knowing that He is the one who called you to it. However, if you're not doing what He's called you to and you're feeling some twinges, that's time for you and God to reflect together upon that. Again, it's not for other people. It's for you and God. In First Peter, Four verses 12 through 18 we're told friends when life gets really difficult don't jump to the conclusion that God isn't on the job instead be glad that you're in the very thick of what Christ experienced this is a spiritual refining process with glory just around the corner so if people are criticizing you or if you feel pressured to do things and that you're not living up to what other people want of you. Remember, Christ felt that way. You're in good company. Just be sure you're doing what he's called you to, and it's all good. So go forward today in joy, in um, refreshment, and do what you know you're called to do. And don't worry about anybody else, just you and God. Have a good day, guys.